Hey you guys, Misty here today. I've got two new books to show you guys that I just got in the mail. And the first one is Cute Monsters Coloring Book by Tabitha L. Burnett. And here's what your, um, let me turn on this other light because I haven't been using it. I don't know if it makes much difference, but I'm going to use it. Okay, this is Cute Monsters Coloring Book. And uh, this this book has white backgrounds and also black backgrounds. And here we got the cute little monsters here. Nice simple coloring, cute little frames around the pictures. Actually, I love these little creatures here. I think I prefer the black backgrounds to them. Uh, the white looks good, but I really like the black. And I am glad that she put the black with it, with the pictures. Because the, the drawings is really good of monsters. And the black brings out the monsters more. So I do like the black the best. And I love the cover of the book. It's a really good book. I couldn't pass it up. I had to get this one. I like her books. I like this one. Isn't it cute? The little octopus with hair and ribbons. I think this is really cute. The little eyes up here is cute. Here we have another cute monster. I like it that there's just a plain background. So it wouldn't be hard to color or take long to color. So I do like that too. It's a pretty good size book. It's like having really two books. It's a pretty good size one. Cute with a little ribbon there. Very nice. Nice, cute critters, little monsters. Cute. This one's really cute. That's a cute one there. Thank you so much, Tabitha, for not 
adding anything to these backgrounds and just made made everything simple and fun in here that's good thank you very much no doodles just a little monster to color a lot of cuteness sometimes you like doodles but not much i don't i have to be in the mood for it you know Oh my gosh, that's cute with flowers. That's really cute. Cuteness there too. Yes. Here is a lady. Two monsters. I like this one. Two together. And boo. That's a good one too. It's got a lot of good images. Now see, now look how, I love it. Look at how pretty these little monsters look with black. So nice. And then I like the way the frames are white too. Very nice. Very nice with the black background. Love it. This one too. Nice with white background.
I like the flowers on that one. I love that one with the two little monsters. Okay, that's it. And then here's our info, guys. Right here. I'll go ahead and show it so you can see it. And this is the back. She's got yours. She's got some uh, color test sheets back here. So there's your color test sheet. So that's a uh, cute monsters, uh, Tabitha Burnett. And I got uh, Halloween coloring book for all ages, Edwina McNamee. Well, this is a really beautiful book, so I decided to get it. And it also has some black backgrounds too. But definitely a winner of a book also. Nice pretty coloring. There's one I've seen in here that I really want to color. It's an owl. That I believe I'll try to get color before Halloween. Look how cute this is. This is absolutely adorable. I'll link these books below for you guys in case you want to buy one. Yeah, this is the owl. Was this the owl one? No, I think it was another one that I wanted to color. That might have been the one I was going to color. Let's see. We have a cute pumpkin and a bat. Nice skull picture with a bat and some pumpkins. Bat and a glow and a pumpkin and a moon. Beautiful. Two bats and two ghosts. Cute cat. Good combination there. Really glad you come out with this book. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty there. Oh man, this was excellent. This is excellent here. The boot and the bat and the pumpkins together and a ghost. It's really good. Candy corn right here. Gosh, it's so cute. Excellent. I like the way the eyes is dark in here. It's good. Actually, I think that was the owl I want to color. I believe it was. No, it's this one right here. Yeah, I want to use gel pens on this. 
And then the owls and the shoe. The gel pens will look so good on this picture. I'm going to try. There's one with the black background. The extra, same pictures, except it's got black backgrounds to it. Same pictures, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if that cute owl picture's in here in the black background. I kind of like the white with the shoe and the owl. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I love it in black. This is good with the black background. Beautiful. They have beautiful faces. Real pretty hair and face. That girl does. Gel pens, here we come on that one too. This looks good, black. Oh, here it is. The one with the shoe and the bats and the black. Kind of like the white better. But both are good, but I believe I prefer the white. But if I colored this one, I wouldn't have to worry about the background, so it'd be a hard decision, really. Yeah, this is really good. Black, too. All these are excellent pictures. Feel it looks good. Another cute owl. This is a cute one. With black background. You could go either way. These look good both ways with the white or black. Oh yeah, this is this is the one I like. This has got the black background here. I like both too. There's the cover. There's the cover with the black background. And that's all. This is an excellent book right here. So these are the two I got. I got them today. And um, I wanted to show you guys a flip through of them. So thank you all for watching. I love you all. We'll be back again. Have a good day.